just got done installing and modifying the wiring and bracket and all that up. The General Motors 3.8 110 amp alternator in my Toyota Camry. For all the years I've had it, we had to keep switching batteries to keep it alive. I've just tested the output and the alternator is working perfect. Now we got to go for a test drive. But of course, I can't drive too fast because my camera mount isn't too securely magneted down from the curvature of the body. Now this video is actually an instructional video. It's going to be about how to drive a standard transmission. And I'm making this especially for James, who's from Chicago, because he can't afford a car and I think he's probably too young to drive. So let's show him how I drive a standard, although I have to drive slowly. Well, of course, we're ready now. Fortunately, I've chosen the fastest car on the farm, the V6 Camry. The very first lesson in driving is to secure your alcohol. Is we don't abuse alcohol at Dave's farm. So if you put that there, push down really hard, you can jam her underneath. Of course, if you make it back alive, you're going to want to reward yourself, maybe even party. So you got to make sure you're prepared. Who knows who you could pick up? Maybe there's a hot chick. Ugh. That's secure too, so we won't abuse that. Now I've got my side seat driver monitor monitoring that we don't harm anybody or abuse any alcohol. So very first thing you do out of habit is push the clutch. Next thing you do, this is usually only important if you've got no door, is put your seat belt on. Oh, you got to maintain a healthy place to keep your alcohol which is your stomach, you know. You wouldn't want your stomach hitting that steering wheel. Oh well, now since it's a sunny day, I'm gonna put my visor down. Cool, I've got a luxury automobile. I've ascertained that this is the correct key. Now I'm going to check that it's in neutral. Since it can move a long way, it must be in neutral. See, now it can't move very much because it's in first gear. Always figure out where reverse is. This is a common place for foreign cars. And of course, if you're one of those people who live in Europe and drive on the wrong side of the road, somehow you've got to learn to shift with your left hand, which is not as easy because I'm right-handed. Okay, now I'm in neutral. Clutch is still pushed in. It's a fuel injected car so I don't touch the gas. Sweet. Now I don't have all my lights on the dash telling me we've got problems. Now that my alternator is working. Just that we have no rear brakes. <laughs> Who needs rear brakes for a driving lesson at Dave's farm? Clutch is still pushed, all the way over, there we go. Now I'm skillfully driving, holding a camera, and driving with the other hand. So now I slowly release the clutch and rev up the motor a little. start to move like this then all of a sudden they like pop go the clutch and they think it the, the whole job's done that's not how you do it what you do 
is you slowly release the clutch, give it some gas, and after you've got about 10 feet, then you completely release the clutch. My guide dog will help us through. So, now it's released. Of course our guide dog is telling us to go faster because we're only in first gear. So we push the clutch, pull down quickly into second gear, and release the clutch. You don't have to release the clutch slowly this time. Sometimes you release it fast, it gives you a nice squawk. It's a lot of fun. I like the squawk tires. If you're city driving when your revs get around 3,000, then you would shift to third. Just like that. Of course, I push the clutch. Now I'm coming to a stop. I don't want to hit the highway or show all the cops I got lots of alcohol in the car. So I'm pushing the clutch, coasting, and using the brake. That could be a cop, it's a black car. Anyways, reverse now, three point turn. Clutch is still pushed. Rev the engine, slowly release. And I'm riding the clutch now. I don't have it completely released because I'm just backing up. Simple as that. I'm braking so clutch is pushed. Now I'm going to show you what gearing down is. Shift to a lower gear. There, and you're decelerating. The cops are after you, you step on the gas. Holy shit, man. The cops never would have gone.
Well, there's a guy who could build a big coal car. See? I drove so calmly and peacefully today, I didn't even shake my beer. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Well, of course, now I've stopped. The clutch is pushed. I have a choice of leaving it in gear, which I usually do, because if I forget to put the emergency brake on, well, then the car might roll away. So now I checked it. In. We haven't disposed of our assets on the floor. Turn the key off. Time to celebrate. Cool. Here's to you, James of Chicago. Enjoy the ride. <laughs>